Hey guys, Ashley here with Coffee Girls and <coughs> what was that? And I just thought I would film a favorites video. I haven't filmed one in a very long time so I thought that you guys might enjoy this and I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm filming a favorites video on this channel, Coffee Girls, just some of my everyday lifestyle favorites. And then I also am filming a favorites video for Coffee and Bible Time, which is our main channel. And on that one, I'll just be showing you guys my favorite highlighters, pens, things I've been using during my quiet time. So if you guys would like to go check out that video, I'll have it linked down below. Before we get into it, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for joining um, me on Coffee Girls today and then for also just watching all our other videos and for commenting. I really love you guys and I'm just so thankful for you. You are the reason why I keep making videos and all your sweet comments just keep me and Taylor going and we love you guys so much and we're just so thankful for you. That being said, if you're new here, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit the bell if you haven't yet so you can be notified. So I guess I'll just get right into the video. Um, yeah, I'm not that big of a material type person. I've kind of grown out of materialism. I, growing up, I loved things. I really did. Um, but I've kind of tried to grow out of that. I've been finding so much peace lately in just letting things go and giving things away and just decluttering and just having just like less. And I've been really loving that a lot. Um, but there are still things that I have favorites of and that I enjoy and that I'll wear over and over again or use every day. And so that's what I'll be showing you guys today. I'll start with makeup. So right now I'm wearing my summer makeup routine. Start off, um, what I do for my foundation for my makeup is actually something my mom got me, which is this True Match Lumi Glotion. And I'll have everything linked down below if you guys want to get anything. Um, but this is amazing. I'll show you a clip of me putting it on. I love this stuff. It's a good base for my foundation as well as gives me a glowy look for summer and I really like it. Um, honestly, this is my absolute all time favorite base I've ever used for my makeup. So the next thing that has been my favorite and this has been my favorite for the longest time, literally years upon years if you guys watch me you guys know i use this for my makeup all the time probably but it's powder foundation this one's mac so i really like the mac or i really like bare minerals i'll link them both down below i use them both every day i've hit i've used them all multiple times i love these and what i love about them is it's just a light foundation i'm literally wearing it right now and you can't really tell I'm even wearing foundation. And that's what I like about it. It's natural. It's pretty. It's um, just kind of gives you that finished look. And it does kind of cover up blemishes, but it's very light. So if you're looking for something that's more heavy, don't get that. Um, the next thing, which I have absolutely been loving. My mom got this for me for my birthday. Is the Too Faced Natural Face. And the reason why I love it so much is because... It does like everything on your face so it does bronzing it does blush it does highlight it does eyes it does all of that I love it so much and if you guys would like to see a makeup look on this I can totally do that it's literally just like my everyday go-to I'm wearing it right now I love it so much I wear it every day so not every day I'm not doing my makeup every day but when I do makeup I will use this so I've definitely been loving the other thing that I've been loving makeup wise lately is the you spicy brushes which these are my mom's and she ended up giving them to me I have never had a brush like this before this fluffy this soft and just so amazing I love these brushes I will link them down below if I can find them but I just love how soft they are um, and then the last thing makeup wise, which has been one of my favorites for a long time, once I finish this, I'll definitely be buying a new one, is the Mario Badesco Facial Spray with Aloe, Chamomile, and Lavender. I love the smell of it. I love just how it finishes off your makeup. You spray this on at the end of your makeup, and it's amazing. It just sets everything. It makes things just all blend together, and it's amazing. I guess going along kind of with makeup is nails, and... I recently did my nails there it's been like two weeks now so they're chipping but I have never done my nails this good before like not that it was me doing it but like products this good and so I really wanted to share this with you guys if you guys want to do nails at home they honestly looked like gels 
they were so amazing and it's just normal nail polish so the first thing i used was this chip skip um opi and so it's kind of like it's not a base coat but you put this on before base coat and it just helps even out the, the um oils on your nails it kind of strips some of those oils so that when you put nail polish on it sticks better and it lasts longer so i really love the chip skip um and then this is the color i have on my nails right now i love it for summer and it was amazing it's the orly it's the orly and this is um fireball really is a fireball i love this you guys I have never had nail polish I liked as much as this. It's oily, it's amazing, it's awesome. But I think what really sealed the deal was actually this Sally Hansen Miracle Gel Top Coat. It did wonders for sealing my nails and making them look like gels when they were just normal nail polish. So amazing. I love this top coat. I'm never going to use any other top coat because I love this top coat so much. So yeah, there's that. Um... So those were kind of the beauty products. Now getting into other stuff. I guess I'll go into my art thing. Is this beautiful little watercolor booklet thing. I am obsessed with this. I'm almost running out of paper in here. I love it so much. Because you can take it on the go. And oh yep. Okay things are falling out. <laughs> um. That's the only thing about this one is I don't know if I'd buy this exact brand again, but I love the size of it. I love how compact is how compact it is, how you can take it places with you, how you can just do small watercolors and just I love it so much. It makes me so happy. Um, like take it with you to the beach, do some art, do some drawing, do some painting. I love how awesome small compact it is. I just love how cute it is isn't it awesome and then the other thing that i love which i don't know if this will be online anywhere i'll try to find it yeah i'll try to find it but it's this watercolor art palette and it's like very shimmery colors which you do not see it's called iridescent shimmering watercolor paints like they are so awesome I don't think I've ever had something this amazing um, when it comes to doing art and I love it and I'll show you guys one of my art pages with it. I don't know if you can see on camera but it's just so shimmery and glittery and pretty and I love it so much. So yeah for art recently I've been loving these two a ton. The next thing that I have been loving is this. Um, French press. Yeah, guys, I have been loving this. I got this when I was at college, and I thought I was only going to use it at college because I needed it there because I didn't have one. I've been using this every day in the summer as well. I think I like it so much because it's so small, and it literally makes one cup perfectly. So I'm, like, not tempted to drink five cups of coffee. I just drink one in the morning. And also, French presses make the best coffee ever because the coffee sits in here and just gets amazingly tasting. And then the last thing I wanted to show you guys is this book I actually read just last night. It's called For Women Only. So, I guess it's for women only. Um, and then the little subtitle is What You Need to Know About the Inner Lives of Men. And obviously, I'm not dating anyone right now. I'm not married to anyone. I'm not engaged to anyone. I'm single. But, um, you know, I think it's great to read books like this because maybe one day I will be in a relationship. Maybe one day I will get married. Lord willing, whatever his plan is for my life. Um, but I don't know. This was just super eye-opening because it kind of showed you, okay, how do guys think? What are going through their heads? What... Um, how do they think? Obviously way different than we women think. And so it's very eye-opening to see how men think and what's going through their brains. Not only for relationships, but let's say even for siblings and people you work with or your own father. Like how are they thinking? How can they be encouraged? Um, and what do they need to be built up with? And so amazing book. 
into she did a bunch of studies on men like hundreds of men she did multiple studies and so it's very accurate it's a very good book well written short quick read i literally read it last night so yeah that has been my favorites lately i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love you guys so 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 much and i hope you have a wonderful day bye